For 10 years, this Liberty City building has been the home of the Yahwehs. Its yeah, leader, down. Yahweh Ben Yahweh, the self-proclaimed Son of God, has thrown down the gauntlet in the past year to federal authorities and the media. Either come forth with an indictment now or quit printing the garbage. The indictment has been returned. But who is Yahweh Ben Yahweh? And how did he come to amass real estate holdings in the hundreds of thousands of dollars? Yahweh Ben Yahweh was born Hulan Mitchell Jr. and grew up in Oklahoma, a one-time member of the Nation of Islam. Yahweh's group claimed they were the true Jews. For years, they remained clouded in mystery. Audio tapes of the group's meetings were obtained by Eyewitness News and aired in a series of reports in 1986. Publicly, Yahweh's were noticed in their white robes. They carried canes. And privately, residents and police investigators were hearing horror stories about the Yahweh's. And they shot him. They shot him. I remember maybe two shots ringing out, and I screamed. Mildred Banks and, and knows thinking, about oh violence. God, like Today, me. some nine years <laughs> after she was shot, window. she still carries a bullet in her yeah. side. One day, in 1981, her North Dade home became a house of death. Banks and her husband, Carlton Carey, had just returned from talking with police about another Yahweh member who had been decapitated. But when they entered the home, they knew something was wrong. In 1986, well, she spoke with Eyewitness News. I, I remember coming to and seeing them drag Michelle out. And I remember saying to myself, they are going to cut his head off. And I remember saying to myself, i got to get help. But the phones were down. Today, uh, Yahweh Ben Yahweh, Yahweh is charged oh, in her attempted murder and the death of her husband. October 1986, Yahweh's take over an open lock apartment building. Two residents who were ordered to leave publicly complained. That night, both were shot to death. Authorities began to look at the Yahweh organization. But Yahweh Ben Yahweh, the former recluse, went public. He opened the doors to his temple, showed reporters his school. He became involved in various chambers of commerce, bought up numerous hotels, cleaned up dilapidated apartment buildings. He opened restaurants and stores, becoming a part of Miami's business community even rubbing shoulders with elected officials at grand openings. This is not a campaign picture. <laughs> Today, Yahweh Ben Yahweh is a defendant, but for months he lashed out at those who spoke out. And they've been investigating for several years, and that's all they can find. So they're on a fishing expedition. But tonight, Yahweh Ben Yahweh is behind bars. Mel Taylor, Channel 10, Eyewitness News.